Ever since 2005, FIFA Pro has invited professional footballers to nominate and choose their World Eleven. For those lucky enough to be nominated, they form the FIFA Pro World Eleven. Regarded as one of the greatest individual honors that can be awarded to a player, a place in the FIFA Pro World Eleven holds added weight, as it's nominated by a player's fellow professionals. With stars all over the world, the voting is always competitive and always causes debate. Announced in January 2023, the Class of 2023 contains some truly extraordinary talents. Here is who made this year's team. Goalkeeper the tough thing about being a goalkeeper is that there can only ever be one that is selected. Despite the performances of world-class operators such as Allison, Ederson, and Andre Onana, it was Thibaut Courtois who earned the prestigious nomination. Regarded as one of the best keepers in the game, Courtois was instrumental in helping Madrid win the 2023 Copa del Rey, and it was his saves that helped them reach the semifinals of the Champions League. Having established himself as one of the best keepers in the world, it was the second successive season that Courtois has been voted in as the goalkeeper of the FIFA Pro World Eleven. A serious knee injury will make it highly unlikely that he will retain his spot in next season's team, but you wouldn't bet against him regaining his place in the future. Defenders Due to their fantastic treble, it isn't surprising that six players from Manchester City ended up making the final FIFA Pro World Eleven. Three of their defensive stars make up the defense of this year's side. Kyle Walker Over the last five years, Kyle Walker has made the right back slot his own for both club and country, and was an instrumental part of Manchester City's success last season. Despite entering the latter part of his career, Walker hasn't lost any of his speed and has been able to keep some of the game's finest attackers at bay. Walker was a model of consistency throughout 2023 and his fine displays, particularly in the 2023 Champions League final, helped to earn him his first ever FIFA Pro World XI nomination. John Stones Like Walker, John Stones' fine performance in Manchester City's historic treble winning season saw him earn his first ever FIFA Pro World XI nomination. A key cog to Pep Guardiola's well-oiled machine, Stones' ability to step out of defense and play neat, intricate passes can often put City on the attack. At times, during City's Champions League run, Stones was often pushed into the midfield, where he never seemed out of place. Although he isn't the quickest, Stones can read the game exceptionally well and rarely finds himself out of position. A goal-scoring threat, the Englishman found the back of the net three times last season. Ruben Diaz Rounding out this year's FIFA Pro World XI defense is Ruben Diaz. Since signing for City from Benfica, Diaz has been a colossus at the back and rarely puts a foot wrong. Trusted as one of City's captains, it was the performances of Diaz that helped ensure City was able to grab crucial victories throughout their Champions League run, and he arguably saved his best for last when helping his team keep a clean sheet in the 2023 Champions League final. Recognized as one of the very best in the business, 2023 was Diaz's second nomination into FIFA Pro's World XI. Now, before we reveal who made the team in midfield and attack, if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to Footy Flex today. Midfield Three midfielders were selected for this year's FIFA Pro World XI team, with two players from Manchester City once again making up the majority. Bernardo Silva Bernardo Silva is one of the most underrated players of his generation. Having signed for City back in 2017, the diminutive Portuguese has been a driving force for Pep Guardiola and is one of the first names on the City team sheet. Skillful and tenacious, he was one of City's most consistent players last season and was fundamental in helping City reach the Champions League final. His two goals in the second leg of their Champions League semi-final against Real Madrid were two of the most important goals he had ever scored for the club and assured City of their place in European football's showpiece event. A scorer of vital goals, he scored seven goals last season, but made countless contributions with his work rate and clever passing. Having established himself as one of the best midfielders that the Premier League has ever seen, his place in the FIFA Pro World XI was his first nomination, and his place in this year's team is incredibly well-deserved. Kevin De Bruyne Pairing with Bernardo Silva in the heart of the FIFA Pro World XI team is his Manchester City teammate, Kevin De Bruyne. 
Since joining Manchester City in 2015-2016, De Bruyne has been simply phenomenal, and he was at his brilliant best once again last season. The key cog in the City machine, nobody in world football can match his eye for a pass or can score as many beautiful goals. A born winner, De Bruyne was a huge reason behind City's fantastic season, and he captained the team on several occasions. One of his best moments in a City shirt came in the first leg of the 2023 Champions League semi-final against Real Madrid. Trailing 1-0, De Bruyne turned the tide of the match with a stunning strike to level things up at 1-1. With City in the driving seat, De Bruyne produced a masterful performance in the second leg laying on two brilliant assists to help City reach their second-ever Champions League final. De Bruyne's inclusion into the FIFA Pro World XI is his fourth consecutive nomination. The youngest player in this year's FIFA Pro World XI, Jude Bellingham. Completing this year's midfield lineup is Jude Bellingham. The youngest player in this year's FIFA Pro World XI, Bellingham had a brilliant season with Borussia Dortmund and has settled into life at Real Madrid with ease. Appointed as Dortmund's captain despite being just 19, Bellingham's performances in the heart of Dortmund's midfield drove Dortmund to the cusp of Bundesliga glory and saw the young Englishman crowned the Bundesliga Player of the Year. With 14 goals last season, few can command a midfield like Bellingham, and his talents were clearly recognized as he became the first Englishman to win both the Golden Boy and Copa trophies in the same season. Alors, le Trophée Copa est remis à Jude Bellingham. Uh, Jude Bellingham, the Real Madrid and England midfielder. This is his first appearance in a FIFA Pro World XI team, but he looks set to be a mainstay of the team for years to come. Attack The attacking areas are arguably the most competitive in any FIFA Pro World XI team, and because of that, this year saw four places up for grabs. Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr. earned his first-ever FIFA Pro World XI nomination thanks to his flying performances last season for Real Madrid and Brazil. Having stepped out of the shadows of other Madrid greats, Vinny Jr. has become one of Real's most pivotal players and has chipped in with numerous vital goals and assists. Having scored 23 goals in just 55 appearances last season, 22-23 was by far his most profitable campaign. Last year was a rare one for Madrid due to the fact that they didn't win either La Liga or the Champions League. With Real keen to recapture both titles this season, Vinny Jr. will need to continue his brilliant form to help fire his team back to glory. Erling Holland Despite being just 23, Erling Holland earned his third successive nomination to the FIFA Pro World XI following another brilliant season. Having made the move to the Premier League, Holland made a mockery of Premier League defenses, scoring 36 times in just 35 appearances to land the golden boot. It wasn't just Premier League teams that felt the wrath of the Norwegian, with the deadly striker finding the back of the net a stunning 52 times in all competitions last year. Holland's acquisition helped City get over the line in the Champions League, and scarily for defenders all over the world, he is only going to get better. Kylian Mbappe Ever since making his debut for Monaco, Kylian Mbappe has been destined for stardom. After scoring 41 goals for PSG last year and winning the 2022 Golden Boot at the 2022 World Cup, it isn't a surprise that Mbappe earned his fourth nomination into the FIFA Pro World XI. Able to play through the center or out wide, Mbappe contains pace that few can match, and at times, he has put both France and PSG on his back. Despite being one of France's most cherished players, it finally looks like Mbappe will leave the French league and make the move to Spanish giants Real Madrid. Yet to actually win the Champions League, Mbappe will be hoping that a move to the Bernabeu will finally land him one of the game's most prestigious prizes. Lionel Messi The final man in the FIFA Pro World XI is Lionel Messi. Earning a staggering 17th nomination into a FIFA Pro World XI team, Messi's remarkable achievements are likely to never be topped. 2022-23 was one to remember for Messi, who was finally able to put the comparisons to Maradona to bed when helping Argentina win the 2022 World Cup. The driving force behind Argentina's victory, Messi's performances bagged him his 8th Ballon d'Or trophy, 
He was also named as FIFA's best player and was crowned as Laureus World Sportsman of the Year for a second time. Having left European football, Messi has stormed a new adventure with Inter Miami and has already taken the MLS by storm. Now in the twilight of his career, it's likely that this could be the final time that Messi makes a FIFA Pro World XI, but few will bet against him featuring at least one more time.